In this lesson, we're going to solve the following quadratic equation. And we're going to use the magic x method, hence why I have this x on the right hand side here. Now the steps are fairly straightforward. Step one is we take the coefficient of the x squared term, negative three, and we multiply it by this constant here. So negative three times eight is negative 24. And we write it in this top section here. Next, we take the second coefficient here, negative five, and we write that in the bottom. Now what I'm looking for are two factors that when I multiply them, I get negative 24. When I add them, I get negative five. Now I could go through and list all the factors of 24, but I can see straight away that I'm going to have an eight and a three, and that would be negative. Negative eight times three, well that would give me negative 24. And when I add these, I do get negative five. So clearly one of the factors is negative eight, and one of them is three. The next step is to take this coefficient of the x squared term and divide each of these by negative three. Now we can cancel. We can cancel here. That would give us negative one. And here, well, this will cancel to eight over three. Now what we do is we take each of these terms and we use that as the factorization. So what we've got here is that two brackets will be equal to zero. And we take the denominator of this term and we put it here, so three X. And the eight, well that would be plus eight. Here we have a denominator of one, so that would just give me an X. And we have negative one on the numerator. In fact, I'll just write that to make it a little bit easier to see. So the denominator and numerator, and the numerator will go here. So what we have here is that either x minus one equals zero, in which case we would have that x is equal to one, or we have three x plus eight is equal to zero. And in this case, this would imply that x is equal to negative eight over three. Now, if you found this lesson useful, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.